Have you ever asked yourself, maybe late at night, maybe quietly when no one's around, is it still okay that I do this every day? Not out of guilt, not out of shame, just an honest question that lingers. If you're a man over 60, you're not alone. Thousands of men silently carry this very question. We talk openly about blood pressure. We talk about cholesterol. Some even talk about testosterone. But when it comes to self-touch, there's silence, hesitation, and often confusion. So today, let's break that silence. Let's say it plainly. What happens to your prostate if you masturbate daily after 60? Is it harming you quietly, as some rumors suggest? Or is it actually protecting you and, and nobody ever told you why? Stick with me until the very end. Because what I'm about to share will not only surprise you, it might completely change how you see your body, your health, and even your dignity as a man. Before we dive in, I'd love to know, where are you watching from? Drop your country or city in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit that like button and subscribe. We're building a community here for men's health and your voice matters. For decades, men have been told all kinds of things about masturbation. Some say it drains your energy. Others claim it weakens your body. Some even warn it causes prostate inflammation or worse, prostate cancer. But here's the problem. Most of these beliefs are rooted in fear, not facts. And when fear replaces science, men stop asking the right questions. They suppress their natural biology. They carry unnecessary shame. And worst of all, they may avoid something that is actually good for them. The good news? We don't need to rely on myths anymore. Today, I'll walk you through what real medical science says about daily ejaculation, prostate health, and aging. And by the end, you'll see why, in many cases, your instincts were right all along. Now, before I get into the details, let me introduce myself properly. My name is Dr. Sarah Wells. I'm a men's health physician with nine years of experience helping men over 50, 60, and even 70 navigate some of the most personal, often unspoken health challenges of aging. I've worked with men who whisper their questions in the exam room, afraid someone might hear. I've worked with men who carried guilt for decades, not realizing the truth was on their side. So when I say this conversation matters, I mean it. Because prostate health isn't just about cancer or urinary symptoms. It's about quality of life, dignity, confidence, and yes, even sexual vitality at any age. Let's start with the big question. What happens inside your prostate when you masturbate daily after 60? And to answer that, I'm going to break it down into three powerful biological truths, the mechanisms your body depends on. Reason number one, ejaculation clears the pipes. The prostate is a gland, its main job to produce seminal fluid, the liquid that carries sperm. When you don't ejaculate for long periods, those secretions can build up inside the gland. Over time, stagnant fluid may increase oxidative stress, promote bacterial growth, and create an environment prone to inflammation. Think of it like a garden hose that hasn't been used in weeks. The longer water sits, the more debris collects. When you finally turn the tap, it sputters out dirty at first before it runs clean again. Regular release helps keep things flowing. It flushes the pipes. It clears out stagnant secretions, reducing the risk of irritation and buildup inside the prostate. Reason number two, ejaculation reduces inflammation and stress hormones. Every time you release, especially in a calm, healthy state, your body lowers stress hormones like cortisol. Why does this matter? Because after 60, elevated cortisol is linked to chronic inflammation, higher blood pressure, impaired immune function. Studies published by PubMed and the NIH show that a balanced sexual rhythm contributes to lower systemic inflammation. That's especially important for men dealing with enlarged prostate, BPH, where inflammation is a major driver of discomfort. So yes, that moment of release isn't just psychological relief, it's biological therapy. Reason number three, ejaculation supports blood flow and nerve function. As men age, circulation naturally declines including to the pelvic region. What happens when blood flow decreases, nerves weaken, tissues lose tone, function starts to decline? Ejaculation is like a workout for your reproductive system. It stimulates blood flow, it reinforces healthy nerve signals, it helps keep pelvic tissues active. In short, it keeps things from going dormant. Now, you might be wondering, okay, Dr. Wells, but can there be too much of a good thing? And the answer is yes and no. Here's the truth. If you're forcing it out of compulsion, boredom, or stress, your body will let you know. 
You might feel drained, fatigued, even restless. That's when masturbation shifts from health support to stress coping mechanism. But if you feel relaxed, recharged, and balanced afterward, that's your body's way of saying, this rhythm works for me. Remember, this is not a contest. It's not about numbers. It's about listening to your body's signals. Now let's look at the science that changed everything. In 2016, Harvard University published a landmark study in JAMA Oncology. Researchers followed over 31,900 men for more than 18 years. And here's what they found. Men who ejaculated 21 times per month or more had a 33% lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men who ejaculated only four to seven times per month. This wasn't guesswork. It was peer-reviewed, controlled for age, lifestyle, medical history. The data was clear. So when men ask me, does daily masturbation hurt my prostate? My answer is no. In fact, in many cases, it may actually protect you. But here's the thing. Masturbation alone won't fix everything. Prostate health is like a puzzle, and daily release is just one piece. If you're serious about protecting your prostate after 60, you need to look at the bigger picture. Let's break it down into five daily habits every man should focus on. One, nutrition that calms the prostate. The prostate is extremely sensitive to diet. One nutrient stands out, lycopene, found in tomatoes, watermelon, and pink grapefruit. Powerful antioxidant, reduces oxidative stress in prostate tissue. A study in cancer epidemiology, biomarkers, and prevention found men with the highest lycopene intake had significantly lower risk of aggressive prostate cancer. Other prostate-friendly foods, green tea, rich in EGCG, an anti-inflammatory compound, cold water fish, salmon, sardines, omega-3s, Cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cabbage, detox hormone metabolites. If you're eating processed meat daily but skipping vegetables, you're quietly fueling inflammation in your prostate. Two, daily movement to stimulate blood flow. Circulation is life. When you sit all day, you know, especially with poor posture, blood flow to the pelvis slows dramatically. This increases stagnation in the prostate, leading to swelling, discomfort, and poor urinary function. The fix? Walking 30 minutes a day. Gentle stretching. Pelvic floor, Kegel-style exercises. These small movements improve circulation and, yes, support healthy ejaculation, too. Three, hormone balance through better sleep. Testosterone peaks during deep sleep. Poor sleep equals lower testosterone. And what does low testosterone mean? More abdominal fat, higher estrogen, more inflammation in the prostate. Tips for better sleep. Avoid caffeine after 2 p.m. Cut screens 90 minutes before bed. Keep your room cool and dark. Try magnesium glycinate or tart cherry juice if you need natural support. Fix your sleep and your prostate will thank you. Four, reducing inflammation, the silent enemy. Chronic prostate inflammation or prostatitis affects millions of men, but it's not always infection. Often it's lifestyle. Processed foods, blood sugar spikes, chronic stress, alcohol and smoking. A 2021 review in translational andrology and urology confirmed that anti-inflammatory diets and stress reduction often improve prostate symptoms more than medication. Yes, ejaculation helps, but it works best when paired with lifestyle changes. Five, mental stress and shame. Now let's get honest. Many men carry shame about masturbation, maybe from upbringing, maybe from religion, maybe from social stigma. But here's what you need to know. Shame is inflammatory. Chronic guilt elevates cortisol. High cortisol disrupts hormones, weakens immunity, and burdens the prostate. When you approach self-release with guilt, your body feels that stress. When you approach it with calm acceptance, it becomes part of your healing. So let me say this clearly. You are not broken. You are not weak. You are not doing something wrong. Your biology was designed this way. Release is not a leftover from youth. It's maintenance. It's a natural function that supports your prostate, your circulation, and even your peace of mind. And yes, it's still relevant in your 60s, 70s, and beyond. So what's the takeaway? Daily masturbation and when practiced mindfully without compulsion may actually protect your prostate, reduce inflammation, support circulation, and lower your risk of prostate cancer. But don't stop there. Build a life that supports your prostate from all angles. Nutrition, movement, sleep, inflammation control, and stress release. Remember, your age does not define your vitality. Every small choice you make today adds up to freedom, comfort, and confidence tomorrow. If this video helped you, do me a favor. 
Hit like, subscribe, and share this with a friend who might need it but is too embarrassed to ask. And if you're ready to take this further, watch my next video. Daily Habits That Protect the Prostate After Age 60. No gimmicks, no nonsense. Just five things you can start today, right from your own home. Click now and let's keep building the healthier, stronger version of you because you deserve it. Dr. Sarah Wells.